frontier land is a tribute to the faith, courage, and ingenuity of the pioneers who blazed the trails across America. We find ourselves back in the exciting days when the story of our country's past was being lived. We will ride a covered wagon to a roaring river town, pay a visit to Slewfoot Sioux's Golden Horseshoe, and then catch the paddle wheel steamer Mark Twain for a trip down the rivers of America. This is the panorama of Frontierland, a composite of the life and times of a hundred years ago, a return to the heritage of the Old West. There are the flags of the original 13 colonies flying proudly over the log-walled stockade entrance to the land. The 1790 square-masted sailing schooner Columbia anchored at a nearby dock, and the stern-wheel steamboat Mark Twain slowly churning up a muddy river and wooden sidewalks lead to the entrance of bustling frontier stores where shoppers can purchase a complete line of woolen goods, ladies apparel, and souvenirs. Eating, too, can be an adventure in frontier land. Here, a guest may choose the Mexican cuisine of Casa de Fritos, specially prepared waffle and pancake treats of the River Bell Terrace, or a vast assortment of hot and cold sandwiches featured at food stands distinctively designed to fit the frontier land motif. Also within earshot, high-kicking dancing girls, corny comedians, and deep-throated vocalists entertain guests in the old-fashioned brass-railed Golden Horseshoe Soft Drink Saloon. Ladies and gentlemen, a Disneyland program reminder. In just a few moments, the curtain will be going up on Slewfoot Sue's Golden Horseshoe Review, and plenty of free seats are still available. Now, if you're a newcomer to Disneyland, the Golden Horseshoe is located in Frontierland, directly across from the Mark Twain Landing Dock. That's Slewfoot Sue's Golden Horseshoe Review, and the curtain going up in just a few moments. Thank you. Thank you. 